Praise be to Jesus. Good morning, friends. Today, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Readings are 1 Kings chapter 18, 41 to 46, Luke chapter 11, 24 to 28. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and do accordingly. Elijah the prophet. Elijah the prophet predicted drought and famine throughout the country. Anger of the king Ahab and of Queen Jezebel turned against the poor man. He hid himself for three years and came out to tell Ahab that it would rain. The contest on Mount Carmel was deadly. People killed the false prophets. Elijah fell to the ground and prayed for rain. He sent his servant to look to the sky to see if there was any cloud. Elijah did not raise his face. The boy was sent seven times. The seventh time he reported seeing the cloud in the sky the size of a man's fist. Elijah was happy. He asked the king to run before the floods would overtake him. He was sure that the Lord has granted his request. He prayed hard and he was looking for the result again and again, always with confidence and trust. Elijah is a man of faith. Elijah's actions were the results of his faith. He knew that it would rain because the Lord gave him the message. Elijah knew that his offering would be consumed by fire. It did happen. Elijah, when he was underground, was burning with zeal for the Almighty. Methan Thanes La Maria Alaha Hailsana. He was zealous for the glory of his name, that is contemplation. He was burning with the zeal for the for the Lord, that is contemplation. He hid himself in the cave and spent the years waiting for the time to proclaim the message again. Mount Carmel. Carmel is beautiful. Raised mountain top overlooking the Mediterranean Sea, falling valley of Sharon, hills, caves, trees, greenery, streams, rivulets, ascetics, prophets, recluses, seekers and mystics lived there. Carmelite heritage from they form into monasteries. In 3rd and 4th centuries, the Desert Fathers, the Christian monks, lived in Mount Carmel. They were known as Carmelites. In the 1st century, in the 11th century, St. Albert, Patriarch of Jerusalem, gave them the rule of the Carmelites. Muslim invasion of the Holy Land and the Crusades forced the monks to migrate to different parts of Europe. So the Carmelites were scattered from Jerusalem. St. Simon Stock, the prior of the Carmelites in England, had a vision through which he had received the scapular from Mother Mary. Carmelites were the scapular. Only July 16 is the day of remembering Mother of Carmel, scapular, contemplative life, etc. The scapular is a symbol of Mary, our mother's protection to her children. Carmelite guidance of mysticism, asceticism, and community living. Carmelite tradition is one of community living, prayer, penance, and mystical contemplation. Blessed Virgin Mary kept everything in her heart and pondered over them. A Carmelite is expected to contemplate. A Carmelite burns with zeal for the glory of God. A Carmelite enjoys silence because it creates room for intimacy with the Lord. Blessed are those who listen to the word of God and reflect on or ponder over the word of God. Let us pray. May Our Lady of Mount Carmel help us to follow the example of continuous contemplation. Help us to burn with zeal for the glory of God. Lord, help us to seek always 
your glory. Amen.